Okay, I'm now recording. Okay, so on the, um, you know, the, uh, the meaning behind uh, coronavirus for humanity. I mean, like, uh, I got to meet uh, Hawkins and uh, in Sedona, Arizona, and I asked him about uh, my illnesses. Um, and, uh, you know, for example, I had gout, and he said to pray for forgiveness for the one in me who uh, who caused pain to others in, in this lifetime and past lifetimes. So for me, it's like when I have guilt, when I hold guilt, uh, unconscious guilt within myself, I attract an illness on an individual level. You know, all the anger and fear and repressed feelings that I hold, which block me off from God, you know, I will attract an illness or some kind of consequence for that. The same thing you could say uh, if you look at it uh, from a place of the collective of humanity is that there is a, a collective shame, collective guilt, collective fear for all of humanity. Every choice that I make which is uh, not integrous, which is based on selfishness, you know, adds to my own storehouse of uh, repressed feelings makes me more susceptible to my inner demons and to external de demonic forces. And the, the, also is the same as true as if you think of humanity as a whole. You know, uh, and you can actually um, calibrate the consciousness of the planet, the consciousness of a country, you know, the collective consciousness. And out of these collective fields of consciousness, of guilt and shame, uh, we attract collective illnesses and collective... Um, collective catastrophes which uh, then come to us as a, as a collective in countries and for the world globally. So coronavirus for me, in my view, is just an aspect of the collective guilt, shame, anger and, and, um, and uh, uh, um, uh, the collectiveness of all of humanity uh, re relating to each other from a place of separation from anger, from greed, from shame. And out of this has come a collective illness. Um, to um, Now, in terms of, we can look at it on a dualistic level. Is there a person to blame? Is it the demonic forces? Well, you can look at it from different, different aspects. Of course, as an individual, when I make choices which are uh, non-integrous, I become sus more susceptible to, the, to my inner demons and to external demons, demonic forces. The same is the true of the collective. As we all make uh, choices which are not based on the light, on darkness, then uh, on an individual level, many of us or a few of us become susceptible to those uh, forces that become dominant within the collective. So coronavirus brings up, you know, uh, it's a call, you know, to some of us for bringing out the light in all of us and for some of us, it's a fall from grace. With this added fear, many of us will fall into addiction, into temptation, into greed, um, so and and succumb to their inner demons and to the collective demons, demonic forces at play uh, within the world. So, in terms of, but whether you know you want to talk about it on an individual level or a collective level, um, talking about it, that's the way I would look at it. Is it is a collective manifestation of that. Now, some people will, you know, like, uh, if you're more of a mystical person, um, my way often of, of healing what I perceive in the world is to clear it, clear my uh, perceptions of what's going wrong in the world in myself, and try and also, uh, or you know, if I have a perception that something is going wrong, there's collective guilt or collective illness in the world, I will first tend to clear it myself, I'll, you know, like with coronavirus, I'm clearing the, my belief in coronavirus in myself. I'm, I'm also doing it for my father. You know, I, I, um, God did not create coronavirus in my father, so it's not real. I cancel my belief in coronavirus in myself. Um, you know, it's a lot of these illnesses that happen collectively are, are, are symbolic. What does the coronavirus symbolically mean? I mean, it's, uh, you know, like, what does low immunity uh, mean it's almost like the um, the immunity, um, you know, my immunity tends to go down when I'm in fear. So there can be collective fear and greed 
uh, collective, you know, I, I my intuition is it's due to collective fear and greed. There was a lot of greed going on between governments, um, and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, attack at the world level between it between countries. So I sort of perceive it as the collective fear and greed that was going on, and out of this emerged out of this emerged a collective pulling of some kind of susceptibility for some kind of collective illness to manifest. So many are being called to love and many are being called to fear. Of course, at a collective level, dependent on how many of us go into the light and the love and how many of us go into fear, into addiction, into destruction, all of this will be a collective. And depending on the balance of the light and the darkness that we all, all the individual choices we all make, that will be that will be the the manifested outcome. You know, each country may have more death or less death, dependent on, like uh, c countries which tend to have a higher level of consciousness will fare better. You know, the 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 light and the love and the the love of life will tend to preserve. Countries where there might be dictators, where there's fear, where there's a lot of corruption, where a lot of people are going for greed. In those countries, you know, people may fare less well. But ultimately, for me, the healing on an individual level and a collective level is to clear and to call on the light and the love to, to, at an individual level and at a uh, collective level. In terms of um, uh, on an individual level, if you feel you're being, being attacked by demonic forces uh, or demonic forces are being done, then you would, you'd pray and take actions to clear that from an external level. If you feel it's internal defects of character which are more coming, then you'd pray and clear for your internal defects, whether it's internal or external attack. Uh, you just identify it and clear it within yourself. If you feel very caught, I mean, some people will be called more to clear the suffering at a collective level, and some will be called to clear the suffering at an, at an individual level. But I would say that, you know, the, um, you could say, like, the difference between... Now, this is quite controversial, but, you know, I've, I've said it many times uh, with Hawkins' research. One enlightened teacher who realises this the peace within themselves counterbalances about 70 million people in darkness. So imagine, I each person who's in fear, their immune systems don't work with the coronavirus, and each person who is in light and love you know, it tends to eradicate the illness from themselves. Any person who's uh, clearing it from the collective will also um, clear it uh, from the collective. So you can make your own individual choices, but on an individual level or a collective level, um, sometimes, you know, through muscle testing, you can find out the most optimal way to clear. But um, I'll leave it there for now.